on guys, Azrael here, and we're back with some more Suicide Squad stuff. I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekend, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be for you. I hope it's a good one. And with that being said, it's a good one for me because we got Harley Quinn. Woo-wee! Man, Margot is just, she's just really hot. She, and she's way hot as Harley Quinn, too. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's all about. I'm sure it'll be good. <laughs> Doctor oh Harleen Quinzel total or total wild cards loves pudding. God, they put it in there. Fuck pudding. It's gonna be so freaking good. It's really, really bad. Let's get into it. Second clip. Let's do it. Calm. Let's get into it. What do we have here? Oh, is this gonna be like a little bit of backstory? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill me, Mr. J? What? Ooh, is it like a flashback? Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really. That would be a whole lot scary. So I think, I don't know if this is going to be like the flashback or if something happens in the beginning of the movie and then we like fast forward, whatever, whatever, minute, time, years later, and she's fucking insane. I think if somebody did her story, her full, full story, I think it would probably be one of the best stories in all of DC. If they did her character right. They did this and I believe... I think they did, if anybody remembers like the cartoon that used to be on the morning cartoons on Saturdays or whatever with, uh, which was the Batman, they made Harley Quinn a, like a doctor, like a TV doctor for like relationships. And it was all just bull, right? It was like the Kardashians reality. And she just kind of went crazy with revenge, but she didn't like go nuts, nuts. Nothing happened to her. She just kind of snapped a little bit and... You could see her like she was apprehensive to be involved in certain things. So it wasn't like the full Harley Quinn that we know. And uh, I got to sneeze so bad. Jesus. <clears throat> and so that was one story. The other story is, I think, from The Batman, the original cartoon that when I was a kid I saw. And that had its own kind of story that I'm not completely like sure on. But this one, it's like, bro... If they're going to show a little bit of that, I would love to see it. Like an original Harley Quinn movie? That would be awesome. That would be freaking insane. <laughs> Literally, it'd be insane. Um, to see her real story of her before she was Harley Quinn, Quinn as the doctor, as someone with a life, and all that kinds of stuff, to get sucked into that, all that drama, and uh, just, just go nuts from torture or whatever it is that makes her go crazy. And... I think that'd be an awesome movie. Also, it's very weird seeing the Joker with pecs. Any, any, anybody else? I find that kind of disturbing. I don't know why. It's just, it's like a joke. He was already crazy. His craziness could kick your ass, but now he's physically, he can kick your ass. Sure. Let's get into the last, last clip. Let's get into it. Here's to honor... Among thieves. Uh. Not a thief. Oh, she's not a thief. <laughs> the fucking beer. Well, we almost pulled it off. Despite what everybody thought. <laughs> Worst part of it is they're gonna blame us for the whole thing. And they can't have people knowing the truth. We're the patsies. Uh. Cover up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, don't forget. We're the bad guys. That was more Will Smith and Deadshot best, but I put it in the Harley Quinn because it's starting too much stuff in the Deadshot folder. Um, from that clip, it makes me think like they somehow disabled the bombs in the in the back of their necks, so the top of their spine, whatever it is, the base of the crown. Um, 
and now they're going to be running rampant. Maybe. That's kind of cool. That's a cool thing to think about, actually. Do they actually get away with it? Like, away away from a waller of all fucking people? FYI, if you're a fan of The Arrow, the TV show, Amanda Waller died in that. Spoilers. That's coming back, and I'll be doing reactions to all that stuff later. But holy crap, I can't wait to be checking all this stuff out. Be checking this movie out. It's going to be awesome, man. I really think, I, I really, really hope I don't get hornswoggled, man. I, I fucking said hornswoggle because that's at the level that I'm at right now. Star Wars, um, Jungle Book, what else? Batman versus Superman. Not as hyped as, not as good as the hype let, let them up to be. Whatever you think about the movies, that's whatever. The hype was over 9,000%. It was insane. The hype was so strong with these movies. And I think the hype also kind of maybe was part of the letdown. Because if you went about the hype with Star Wars, Star Wars was absolute shit if you compare it to the hype that was going on about it. Like, Star Wars is, it's the story. I, I personally don't like pre or not prequels. Um, origins or start-ups to like a trilogy. I know what the fuck's going on in Star Wars. Hell, even in the new revamped J.J. Abrams, I fucking knew who Kylo Ren was. So I didn't need that kind of startup. Most people do, whatever. And in general, you're trying to get so many people that aren't Star Wars fans to come watch it. And I don't like that. If you don't like Star Wars, don't make a movie for people that don't like Star Wars. Make a movie for the people that like Star Wars. But either way, it was a startup or a beginner or a, or a launching point for the rest of the stuff that's going on, which I can understand about, uh, get get it, get behind. I just wasn't a fan of everything I was hyped about it. It didn't live up to the hype. But the story and everything that's going to happen after this movie is going to be incredible. And I hope I don't get, I hope the, the, the hype thing doesn't happen to Suicide Squad. I hope I don't get so invested in this movie that it ends up being cheesy at some parts or a let down in other parts. So, I, I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel. So, with that being said, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys on whatever video I'm doing next. Hope you have a good rest of your day, week, whatever it may be. And I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.